It seems now the whole world can't stop talking about fourth industrial revolution, which is fast approaching with rapid breakthroughs in fields such as the Internet of Things, robots, artificial intelligence, and 3D printing. So how fast are robotic technologies developing in China? Our reporter Laura Lowe is standing by to discuss this topic following her recent trip to two industrial 4.0 factories. Laura, I looked at your footage. They look super fun. Tell I know, they're amazing. And the era of robots is really not that far away from us anymore, Tracy. Just take a look at BMW's newly opened engine factory in northeast China's Shenyang. It is an eye opener for those who fantasized about a futuristic manufacturing plant full of swinging robot arms taking command from smart computers. The engine plant, which is the first of its kind outside Europe, is among the most advanced factories in the world, as it boasts smart systems that help make work easier for humans. The world's largest luxury automaker, BMW, started the year with a ban by kicking off a new engine plant in the world's biggest auto market. The new factory in Shenyang in northeast China's Liaoning province will produce 300,000 engines per year, all of which will be used in locally made models. With three new more models coming into localization, and the first one will come this quarter, we decided we need a fully fledged engine plant. We believe in China, we believe into the further growth of the car market. The Chinese car market is the largest car market in the world and will stay like that. Its rival Mercedes started making engines in China two years earlier. As competition intensifies, more emphasis has been put on technologies to boost efficiency and reduce cost as well as emissions. In this BMW's new engine factory in Shenyang, some of the most advanced Industrial 4.0 technologies are being used to detect the tiniest flaws that are lethal to engine making, with the smallest the size of one quarter of a human hair. We have to make the work easier for the workers to handle it. Uh, and we leave the creative parts to the workers. But for the tedious, routine jobs, more and more we bring in what the industry is, uh, is calling smart robots. Smart robots are working side by side with our employees. In this factory, robots are making sand cores where 90% of the sand used for casting can be recycled. A self-learning x-ray system examines products' flaws and errors. And there is a scan code on every part recording all information during manufacturing. Kastner also said Industry 4.0 wouldn't squeeze out human jobs, but will help combine personalized demand with mass production. It is not about having the human-less industry hall, they are just robots. It is about intelligently combining this new technology. In the future, we will be able to combine individual demands with industrialized batch producing. The whole thing comes together and is very cohesive. BMW currently ranks behind its rival Audi as the second in the Chinese market. Its new factory will also manufacture high-voltage batteries in the future, preparing the path for the upcoming tide of e-mobility in China. Lolo, CCTV News, Shenyang. Well, the development of artificial intelligence and robots has entered a high growth stage in China. The country became the largest robot market in 2013 and is ex expected to reach a market value of 9 billion yuan or about 1.4 billion US dollars by 2020. There are about 100 AI companies in China with some already world famous ones like drone maker DJI and humanoid robot maker Turing Robot. And tech giants in China are also investing heavily in AI, such as Baidu, uh, it is focusing on AI voice assistant. Meanwhile, Alibaba launched an AI platform to predict user behavior, and Tencent has released a robot journalist, Dream Writer. But it's not just the journalist jobs that are under threat. A recent study shows that AI and robots will replace a net of over 5 million jobs of all sectors around the world in five years. To find out exactly how big the impact will be, I made a trip to China's most advanced robot manufacturing base, CSN. In less than 15 years, Xiaosan or Xingsong in Chinese has grown from nothing to China's largest robot company. Its products range from industrial robots to service robots as demand in China has ramped up. China's high speed growth will last for the next 10 to 15 years. Industrial robots have already entered the market now in batch production after developing for nearly half a century. 
Meanwhile, robots working in special environments will see big growth, such as in chip and LED manufacturing, along with ultra-hygienic or even vacuum rooms. And there are also service robots that already have some of the world's leading AI technologies. Our service robots rely on laser light to perceive their environment and locate themselves, so they can walk around without touching anything or any people. They can see and identify human faces, strike a conversation, and recharge themselves. The company has also established a digital factory with Industry 4.0 standards, which uses robots to make robots. In this almost fully automated factory, rows and rows of robot arms are busy making many of their own kind. But of course, with the help of human workers, that robot-human relationship is at the epicenter of a global debate as automatic technologies are expected to replace more than 7 million workers worldwide in the coming years. We expect even larger scale job reshuffling, but we don't say people will lose their jobs. We say they will leave their jobs, as these positions simply are not suitable for the well-being of people or personal development. We have entered an era with a new manufacturing model, where a large amount of low-end jobs will be replaced by robots and intelligent manufacturing. It's an inevitable trend. However, the inevitable reshuffling of jobs is being accompanied by a labor shortage as the working age population in China fell by almost 5 million in 2015, the fourth consecutive year of decline. That's why it's getting harder and harder for employers to find cheap labor. All these factors, plus the rise of robots, will force China to improve its economic structure, although the process may be painful. This time, Industry 4.0 won't leave us the options to keep surviving on drudgery or low-end labor-intensive work, even if some Chinese businesses want to continue surviving like this. However, we should use this opportunity to improve our industrial structure and move up our manufacturing level. That leaves us with the question of what jobs people would do after being replaced by robots. If we can make enough wealth through technology, do humans have to work at all? We may create many new jobs that are unimaginable at present. For example, chatting or social welfare efforts can be the jobs of the future. Well, not only that, you can also take the robot to the dance floor, although I might miss the human touch. Lerlo, CCTV News, Xinyang.